Good morning, everybody. It is day four on the Wish. It is a day at sea, which are my favorite days on any cruise. I love the days at sea. We are going to tackle this day. There are tons of things to do today, and we're going to try to do them all and just rock this place out on our final day here on the Wish. Come with me. I got you. Let's go do this. All right, so as I mentioned, we have a lot planned for today. Tons of character photos. We're gonna go and try to check out the open house for the uh, kids only areas. We have dinner tonight at 1923 in the Roy Disney room, which is something I'm very excited about. Uh, there is a lot to do today. I uh, still haven't made it into the theater. I'm gonna try to check that out. Uh, it is just going to be a jam-packed day, and we're going to take it all the way until late tonight uh, because, you know, sleeping is for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm excited. It's time for me to go get dressed. I've been enjoying coffee out here on the balcony. That is the way to start your day. I don't care what day it is, but especially the day at sea. And uh, let's go do it. All right, we are starting day four by trying to go down and check out the youth areas, the clubs that are in an open house right now from 8 till 9 a.m. Let's we'll see if we can find them and check them out. Looks like it's a small world. Yep. Oh, check it out. There is a cool staircase down here. Cheshire Cat. Look at this. Slide. I think we can go in. I think we can go in. So this is the Oceaneer Club. This is one of the kids only places that is normally off limits to adults. But today in the final day, the day at sea, you get a, like an hour open house to come check it out. So I'm a big kid. I'm gonna bring my kids back. Let's look around, especially in here, all this artwork, super cool. There's Herc. Oh, Captain. It's almost overwhelming in here, all this. Oh, wow. It gets better. <laughs> you guys know I'm an artist and I do paintings and drawings and Disney stuff, so this is overwhelming to me. I love this place. But come on, there is a Walt Disney Imagineering Lab, and it has been my lifelong dream to be an Imagineer. Oh. And within this is a Beauty and the Beast area, and you know I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan. It's a lot to take in. The other side is Arendelle. Now it's time to go into the Imagineering Lab.
wall dedicated to the Imagineers who took part in building this. Names are on the hat. Got a 3D printer down here printing Mickey. Who don't want to leave with the kids yeah. off. <laughs> <Not> the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Hollywood Tower Hotel, baby. Good child. My brother's favorite, Dumbo. That's not like an insult. That really is my brother's favorite, is Dumbo. Oh, partners. Oh, I see that stuff too. It gets me. Ratatouille. If the statue doesn't get you a little bit, you have no feels. <laughs> it would be very cool for me to see that on a nameplate for me one day. Walt Disney Imagineer, Chase Smith. That would be very, very cool. I want the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. They have a ride simulator to test out the roller coasters. Oh, you sit down. Check this out. Whoa. Holy moly. Man, you're coming in. Looks like for the hockey stop here. Or are we taking back off? We're taking back off. Climbing. that it feels like you're on it a little bit. Woo, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> and then there's a huge model of the wish down here. Schematics. There are so many things to do in here and this is just one of the spots. Let's go see if we can find some more things. Time to go check out the Star Wars area. Look at this. This area is super immersive and feels like you're in um, Batu, or really more what it feels like to me is when you get up on the bridge of the Millennium Falcon, like the, the size of the area and the places to sit and things to do. There's so much to do in here and see, so many buttons to push, places to sit and hang out. That's what it feels like to me. Of course, I'm wearing my Goonie shirt because I'm a big kid and uh, this is all super cool to me and Goonies never say die. These are not 
keep your imagination forever. And you never grow old. Time to grab some breakfast at the Marceline Market. Now yesterday we were in such a hurry and so focused on getting off the ship that we missed like three other sections of buffet that had more food. So we're gonna try to do better today. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Senor? Good, how are you? What can I get you, sir? We'll do an eggs benedict with hollandaise and, and two pieces of sausage. Yes, it can be served. All right, that is just one buffet section. We're gonna try for some more. Uh, what is this? Egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Um, hmm. Interesting. They have like some fried rice. They have some corned beef hash. Some different selections there. I think I'm in the market for this next section, which is, uh, looks like pancakes and Mickey waffles. No grits. How do we not have, I'm from the South. I'm, I need some cheese grits up in here this morning. Can I get a Mickey waffle and uh, two uh, blueberry pancakes? Uh, no, that's all right. Thank you. Can I get, good morning. Can I get a cream and a um, syrup? Thank you. Thank you. What do we have down here? It's like fixings for oatmeal. That's all. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can go find Risha and somewhere to sit down. <laughs> So I pretty much got the same breakfast as yesterday with the exception of a Mickey waffle and a couple of blueberry pancakes and some yogurt. Uh, so I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to eat and enjoy this beautiful view. You sit here at the bar, you get breakfast with a beautiful view. I recommend that if there's just a couple of you. I mean, obviously you could sit a whole family here if you can get the space, but it is something to sit here and eat and look out at the view and the water. I love it. I'm going to do it right now. All right, we are in line to meet the man himself, Mickey Mouse. Uh, oh, Captain, my captain. He's technically not the captain of this ship. This ship is captained by Captain Minnie Mouse, but Mickey is always my captain, it, except for if it were Donald. I think Donald needs the captain of the ship. I'm still lobbying for Donald. I can't even get a Donald hat. Like, what's going on here? Where is Donald representation? I had a conversation with Donald last night about it. The, the Donald disrespect is out of hand. But we are on our way up here. We're in line uh, to start the day. We're going to make sure we meet Mickey. And then we have a lot to do today. A lot. Because I have a side mission, other video, where we are trying to complete the uh, cruise crawl from lounge to lounge, so make sure you check out that and see if we're still standing and make it at the end of the day. All right, we got to meet Mickey. Got to show him I was repping him on my hat, even though I'm still looking for a Donald hat. It is time to get on with uh, the rest of the day at sea here. All right, so final day on the wish. We are gonna hit the adults only area here and the adults only bar obviously the cove bar up here on the top deck and start out with a drink you know after all those character meet and greets were done <laughs> so as I learned from Kirk in our uh, mixology class a spritz will open you up an Aperol spritz will open you up open your appetite up 
get your stomach ready to eat and drink for the day. So I'm gonna start with that. Risha's gonna do the pop spritz, which is a spritz that has a popsicle stick in it. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Good, fizzy, tart. It's just champagne, the apple, and the uh, blood orange. That's it. Good, fizzy. Gets you burping. Makes some space. <laughs> it's good. Now the um, popsicle one. Very similar, but sweeter and with the strawberry. And Risha likes the popsicle. <laughs> now, one good thing about this area, other than it's an adults only area, which a lot of the lounges are at certain times, um, is the view. You're up here top deck and uh, there's like the infinity style looking pool out here, but just the views are amazing. That is quite a way to start the day. Enjoy a cocktail. Get your bearings. And then you can tackle the rest of the day. Got a little vitamin C, some sunshine. It's beautiful up here, beautiful. It's really busy up here right now. Uh, the busiest we've seen it. So quiet cove, I'm not so sure that's the right word, but uh, it is very, very beautiful up here. So the Rose Lounge is right outside of the Paolo uh, restaurant where you can get the amazing brunch and a great dinner. So obviously it's Beauty and the Beast theme right at my alley. Beautiful views in here. Hello. Good. Meanwhile, look at the views from the rose. Beautiful. So we were at the rose temporarily the other day when we came into Palo, but now we're actually going to sit here on our final day at the day at sea and just have a cocktail, share a cocktail. Um, and, uh, You'll be able to see what cocktail I get if you check out the um, cruise crawl video that I'm also doing at the same time. But right now, we're just going to relax in here and enjoy the views. Oh, the rose is great. Make sure that you check out my uh, cruise club crawl video or lounge crawl. I'm just going to call it the cruise crawl. Make sure you check out my cruise crawl video to see what we had to drink. It was very special and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did at the Rose. Right now it is still only about 11.45. There's so much that we're trying to pack into today. I'm already thinking about my next cruise and a longer cruise and I cannot wait. So uh, let's go enjoy the rest of this day together. So on the final day here, day at sea, there are several like character dance parties that are kind of like a farewell. There's one here at 1230. This isn't the official farewell, but it's in the main area, like the main ballroom um, midship uh, on the main stage where, you know, all of the characters come out and they do a dance and, and, and like a show. It's like 30 minutes. And then tonight at like 1015, there's the final farewell. 
which we will be out here for. So a few more things. That's why I like days at sea. There's a lot more things that you can do. You gotta go longer cruises than four nights for that though. So, but we're gonna try to check them all out and fit in as much as we can into this day and live it up. This is gonna be my view. That's a pretty nice view and that chandelier is beautiful. I don't get tired of looking at it and the staircases. Oh, there's so much to do. I just wish I had more days. So one of the more popular things to do here is of course the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique and it books up really fast. I'm not gonna go in there, but I'm gonna show you where it's at. It's right here on deck four. You get your princess makeover. I think my daughter is like kind of past. I think my daughter, she's almost 12. I think she is kind of past that now, but I have done it for her before at the parks. But you can still do Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique here on the ship. Uh, it's open 12 hours a day typically, and it gets booked up really fast. So if you want to do it, you better, you better book it as soon as you can. And, and that leads me into one of like my biggest negatives. Uh, got some spooky up lighting there. One of my biggest negatives uh, about the Disney Cruise Line is if you've never cruised before, it's harder to get the things that you want to do uh, because they it's in tiers. And the more you cruise, the more you have access to the things you want to do, like the special things, the Apollo, the Bippity Boppity Boutique, all of those extra add-ons, uh, shore excursions. The more you have cruised, you get earlier access to book those. And then if you're a first time cruiser or whatever, it tears down from there. So by the time you get to a first time cruiser, it's whatever is left at that point. And that's kind of tough because you, you see all these things as a first time cruiser that makes you want to get on and then you get there and you can't necessarily get all of those. You can always go to guest services like we did and we were fortunate enough to get on a wait list and get Palo but, uh, and, and a mixology class and a martini tasting. So we were able to get a few things, but there were several things that I wanted to do that I didn't get to. I wanted to do the chocolate and liqueurs tasting, wanted to do the wine tasting, wanted to do the beer tasting, wanted to do world of old fashioned. So many things I wanted to do couldn't get those so obviously you know it works great for them you got to come back more often but uh you know sometimes it's like a one and done for people like they save up for years to come on a cruise and they can't do most of the things that they've seen so that kind of stinks i would like to see some other way to handle that but literally that is the only possible negative <clears throat> that i have had excuse me that I have had about the Disney cruise experience. Otherwise, it reminds me of being a kid at Disney growing up uh, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, that type of level of customer service, of quality, of cleanliness, of just, just perfection everywhere, that's what you're getting on the Disney Cruise Line. And I don't think any other cruise can even come close to matching it. This is something being a movie guy I've wanted to check out for a while. We haven't made it, but here on the, the last day, day four, 
Uh, we made it into the Wonderland Cinema. Uh, the Marvels is showing right now, and I really, I'm not going to set for a whole movie, but I just I want to see it in here. You can't record in there, but I'm going to record around as much as I can because uh, it is really cool. And I see the Cheshire Cat grinning at me. So very cool Alice in Wonderland themed entrance. Get a little popcorn. Go sit down for a minute. Here we go. So we checked out the uh, Wonderland Cinema. I love it. I love movies. I love having um, movie theaters on ships. Especially when you have longer cruises, and we don't have time to sit there today, so we just watched about 10 minutes of The Marvels, which is not my favorite uh, Marvel movie, but is very cool. It's very well themed. I love it. I wish I had a theater in my house. Uh, it was a must-do to at least check out here on our final day. I've been trying to get there every day, and I finally got there. Now we're getting close to time for some lunch. Day four, and we are, believe it or not, only making our second like full trip for a meal to the Festival of Foods, which has been some of my favorite food, but it's just hard to find time to get out here, believe it or not. So right now, I'm thinking Donald's Cantina and maybe Daisy's Pizza Pies. Let's go see. Okay, so the only thing we got different than the other day was some pizza. And I did the four cheese because it has gorgonzola as one of the cheeses. And I love gorgonzola or feta on uh, pizza because when it gets warm, it gives you that sharp, creamy bite. And I also did the prosciutto pizza, which is the four cheese pizza plus prosciutto with some arugula, parmesan cheese, and a balsamic glaze on top. So I'm going to try that one. The arugula and balsamic goes with the um, prosciutto and the four cheese. You get the gorgonzola in there. It's a really good solid pizza. It's not normal theme park pillow pizza. It's a little bit elevated above that. It reopens at nighttime until midnight. And once it closes, it's like from nine till midnight. So this is your late night snacking pizza and ice cream. Right now I'm gonna hit that cantina food which i'll show you and maybe a little bit of rich's barbecue <laughs> as i said i just got another bowl the same as i got the other day rich is repeating some of the barbecue doesn't matter if you repeat it a couple days later if it's all good find your favorites and eat them i'm gonna eat them now the festival of foods was really good again but very hectic i finally got my soft serve ice cream this time very, very hectic out here, but it was good. It's two o'clock now. We still have a long time left in this day, and uh, we're just trying to live up this final day here on The Wish. Finally, on our last day in here, we have made it to the Keg and Compass Lounge, which is a Viking-themed, like, historical travel adventure lounge, which I love because that's all me. Uh, if you want to see what we're drinking, though, you're going to have to check out the uh, Cruise Crawl video because we're going to have a couple of drinks in here that are specific to the Keg and Compass Lounge. They have cocktails and beers that are specific that you can only get here. They also have pub uh, grub like German pretzels, loaded potato puffs, things like that. But you can only get it at certain times of day. It starts at like 1230 runs for a couple of hours, then stops for a while, then starts at 5 p.m., and then runs a little later. So you have to make sure you check your um, guide as to when they're actually serving food in here. But we had to make a stop in here, and I'll show you around. Uh, it is a really, really cool place. 
But if you want to see what we're drinking, you got to make sure you check out the cruise crawl video because uh, it's going to be interesting. I definitely love the maps on the ceilings and then they put the Disney characters in the areas of the maps where they would be. So that's really, really cool. Kind of has a little bit of sports bar mixed in with it here. But for us, of course, I am going to sit in the captain's quarters. See if you can see that. You're going to sit, sit in the captain's quarters. So Mickey's main cell, I'm pretty sure I've been in here every day, multiple times. But this is the main, like, big gift shop here on board with all your Disney Cruise Line exclusive gear. And there is a lot of stuff here that you cannot get anywhere else. So that's a really cool thing. We spent way too much in here, but I just thought I would give you a quick look around. There is exclusive crew stuff everywhere. Obviously some cups. You got your exclusive ears. Now the interesting thing about all of the stuff in here is anything that is Disney Cruise Line, anything that is Disney Wish is exclusive to the Disney Cruise Line. And if it's Disney Wish, it's exclusive to this ship. So you're not getting it anywhere else unless you buy it off of eBay secondhand at like five or ten times the price. So people are in here and they stock up on stuff. They have some non-exclusive stuff, but definitely, you know me, I've been checking out the hats. I got this hat. And they do have some Disney 2024 merch as we're still in the first few months of 2024 here. Some more exclusive ears. That is just a quick look around. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in the shop. Uh, I'll throw in some other footage from where I've been in here before if I hadn't shown you on other videos, but there is a lot of stuff and I can promise you, you are going to spend a lot of time and money in Mickey's main sale. <laughs> Way more than you probably should. One of my favorite things to get was the Christmas ornaments because I have a Disney tree. So we definitely stocked up on those. My tip on that is if you see one you like, get it because they can go fast. All right, final day at sea. I'm headed into Hooks Barbary for a shave.
cool experience. <laughs> so we are back in the room after my uh, shave at Hooks Barbery. And uh, it's a really cool experience. Uh, I had an old fashioned and everything. Um, while they shaved me, got a scalp massage and things like that. I was really just wanting to get the express shave and he just kind of like added on to it. And uh, we had a little snafu. He shaved my beard a little too far up. So I had to shave it all off. So if that's, uh, if you're not used to seeing me looking like this, that's why. I know I feel like I look weird. I feel naked, but uh, that's why. Uh, so trying to just play it off because it was a great experience. Um, unfortunate a little unevenness and had to take it all off. But um, you'll see me like this for the next few days. But it is a very cool experience. And just another part of our final day here on The Wish. Right now we are getting ready for dinner at 1923. Very excited to go here. This is the Roy and Walt section. This is their, this is like their type of restaurant. And I cannot wait to go in. It's the best looking menu of anything so far. And uh, right now we're getting our luggage ready to set out before dinner. So we don't have to rush back and uh, get it all out before 1030 tonight. So lots to do, still a long way to go on the rest of this final day here on The Wish. All right, we are in line down here to get the ever important staircase picture. The picture at the foot of the grand staircase. And woo, I'm zooming in and out on you. Uh, we've got about 25 minutes before dinner here on the final day. Super excited for dinner. But right now it is picture time. It is a madhouse down here. Everybody's trying to get the last pictures. It is super loud. There's characters everywhere. There's people everywhere. There is a ton of energy in here. And hey, I kind of like it. Hey! Yes. Hey! This is definitely the best restaurant so far. Uh, I haven't even had the food. Yep. <laughs> Super nice. <laughs> we have finally made it into 1923. Finally into 1923. And the ambiance here, everything about it, this is for me already. Yes. Old school, back in the day, vintage Walt, vintage Roy, vintage Disney, old school, uh, nine old men type feeling. I love it. Very famous thing. It comes from Brian for the apples, green beans wrapped with bacon, and I write that the oil sauce on this. Oh, yes. Huh? What is it? So I went for uh, two. I gotta find my fork. I went for two appetizers. The tortellini, four cheese pasta, and the ahi tuna. And I think I selected well. Tortellini is really good. Time to get serious here. The tortellini is really, really good. Cheesy, get a little garlic. I mean, it's, I'm gonna have to have another bite of that. Some sun dried tomato in there. I could eat a bunch of the bowls of the tortellini. Some tuna, some ahi tuna. Oh, this is a little wasabi. This is the best one. Mm. 
It's not even a competition. The ahi tuna melts in your mouth. I appreciate frozen for the show, but it's... These are excellent, this excellent is appetizers. Super good. I'm going to enjoy them. <laughs> uh, so we have some food here. I got the uh, pasta with mushrooms and I don't know what all goodness is in there. And then I got the peppered filet mignon, which is highly recommended by everybody. Let's see if we can get into it here. It's so good. That you would only get well done meat, so I think I was going to call it. Oh, the steak is really, really good. And the gravy on top, guys, ah, freaking out my camera. It's really, really good. I'm going to try this pasta real quick and then I'm going to eat. Mm. You have to like mushrooms to like the pasta. But it is fantastic. Fantastic. This has been the best food so far by far. Risha also got a lobster salad. I'm not trying it because I don't like cold seafood. That's what but I'm going to get to eating and uh, I'll see you later. I get the Sunday, we get this food for sure. Churros calientes. Yeah, I'm just going to get the Sunday. Like last night. I came in here. I knew I wanted to eat both of those. Just looking at it. It's dessert time and uh, spoiler alert, I'm probably getting more than one. Okay, so two desserts. First, this uh, lemon Bavarian cream thing, cake. It's not bad. Not bad. I like lemon. That's about. One of the few the things Epcot. that breaks my fruit dessert rule. The Epcot Food Festival is just But let's go with the classic. Let's go with like Walt and Roy's Sunday here. I mean, what are we even messing around for? The Sunday wins. You can't beat a Sunday. But you can't eat it. Oh. We are finishing dinner at 1923. We are out of there, and I think overall it is the best experience because of the artwork, the nostalgia to Walt, Roy, all that kind of stuff. It is really, really good. Um, I still really like the two main entrees as well at um, uh, Worlds of Marble that first night. The uh, veg vegetarian um, uh, ricotta gnocchi and the um, pasta that was there. And last night's menu at Arendelle for Pirate Night was really, really good. That might, be, that might have been my favorite meal last night from the beginning all the way to the end, but just the ambiance and the experience in 1923 is hard to beat if you're into nostalgia and you're a fan of Walt and Roy. And uh, I love it. We get to do breakfast there in the morning on our last day, or our last morning here before we leave. So still more time left on our last night, and uh, let's go do it.
So that was the final little farewell. It's a big cast meet and greet in there. Uh, but we are heading over to the bayou for our own little farewell. So our final stop was the bayou here on our final day, day four on the wish. I got a little nightcap drink in there. Make sure you check out the uh, cruise crawl video to see what I got. Just a nice little uh, digestion helping nightcap. And we've been at it all day since 10 o'clock this morning. And woo! I am out here on the balcony closing out our fourth and final day on the wish. I'm going to give you a little look at breakfast in the morning as a little bonus too because we're having breakfast at 1923 before we get off. All right, so this is the quick little look at the saddest day on a Disney cruise. This is the uh, morning of debarkation. So we're packed up. You got to be out of your room by 8 a.m. and uh, go down stairs, have some breakfast at 1923. We could actually already go. They've already announced. They announced at 725 that our luggage was off and ready to go. They announced by luggage tags. Uh, they're going to give you luggage tags the night before. And once they announce that your luggage tags are like if you're Donald or Mickey or whoever, if you're ready to go, I got Donald, by the way. Um, if you're ready, once once they're off and ready to go, they'll announce it and then you're good to go at any time. But we're still going to go down and have breakfast at 1923. Not a big breakfast because we're almost just tired of eating. <laughs> There's that much food. Uh, so we are going to go down and have some coffee, a little light breakfast at 1923 and uh, kind of rewrap this video up. But we're not done with uh, this honeymoon adventure because from here it's on to the Polynesian Resort. So make sure you stay tuned and check out those videos as well. Kind of show you around 1923 this morning, and then it's time to say goodbye to the wish for now. All right, let's go do it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nope, keep going. All right. Right here, I believe. Right there in that corner. To your left, to your left, to your left. Coffee, right. please. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs>
finished with breakfast. We have picked up our checked luggage and gotten through customs and re-entry, passports in hand, and to the parking garage. And from the time we finished breakfast to get through all that and to the parking garage maybe took us 15 minutes. Beautifully streamlined. Uh, and now it's time for the most depressing send off ever, but back to the outro. <laughs> but today was a jam packed day. In addition to everything you saw, I also did a cruise crawl today. So make sure you check out that video. This has just been an incredible experience. Getting to spend part of something so special, part of my honeymoon on the Disney Wish as my first Disney cruise was amazing. We're gonna be back as soon as possible. I'm gonna bring my kids. Uh, I'm gonna bring my mom and my stepdad and anybody I can get to come with us. It has been that much fun. Uh, top notch all the way. Everything you have heard is true. This is the classic Disney quality, Disney service, attention to detail that Disney was known for when Walt was there, when I was growing up is in the 80s and 90s. This is Disney. It is all right here. All the magic is here. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to you got to make a way to get out here and, and book you a cruise, a Disney cruise and check it out. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos on the wish. I'm going to give you a little look at breakfast in the morning. But until then, uh, this is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great AVA day. I hope you've enjoyed this. I wish this for you. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.